Hey there, uh, Casita trailer owners. We're going to talk about uh, your hot water heater inlet rod a little bit. Um, this one I've been using for about a year. And I've drained and cleaned my hot water tank about four times during that period. When I uh, first put this rod in for the first part of the year, I got pretty aggressive wear on it. Then what I did was I put a switch on the uh, carbon monoxide um, detector and once I did that I had a huge reduction in the amount of corrosion that was constantly happening. So that little culprit if your trailer is plugged in um, helps to eat up this rod. This is a magnesium rod. Uh, I think they're also available in aluminum but uh, I don't really like the idea of having aluminum in my water for various medical concerns. Um, here's the old one. I've cut the end off it. Now I can use this as kind of a end plug if I don't want to put this new rod in after uh, winterization. Since there's no uh, water in the tank, uh, you shouldn't get any corrosion even if you do put in a, a new rod. Remember this is a 1 in 1 16th and use uh, Teflon tape. Now what I use also is I use a little petroleum jelly. I put that around the threads here. <laughs> One thing I found that really annoys me is that these uh, replacement suburban anodes <laughs> actually will rust right inside the package. I'll show you with this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually just starting to rust right now. Because this package is not really sealed, uh, this blister pack on the back is just paper. It allows the transmission of moisture into the product. And then it's, I had this one in my trailer. This one I've cleaned up. Now you may be wondering how to clean it up. And the best way to do that is to have this set up here with your drill and uh, put a wire brush on it. And then you can use this when this is on to uh, buff it out. Once it's done, protect it with a little Vaseline and you can put it back in the bag and maybe save this uh, packaging so you can remember what to buy. For uh, Casitas, it's part number 232767. That's 232767. And you can buy these uh, on eBay. I think I paid uh, around 12 bucks, maybe less. Maybe I paid like 8 bucks. Anyways, you can get a good deal there for uh, replacement anode. Uh, pretty interesting when you compare the two. Once it gets to this level you're saying hey there's a ton of material left on the anode and that's correct there is but unfortunately uh, you know even if you blow on it it starts to crumble and come off so all this stuff gets into the water and it can get stuck in your pump screen and you can end up plugging up your faucet uh, the, you know, it has all these particulates. Some stay in the bottom of the tank, but some of them can move around. So, you know, for 10 bucks, you know, take the damn thing out and replace it. Some people uh, during winterization always just put the plug in. I'm not so sure if that's a plus or a minus. It's probably a good idea to spray paint this red before you put it back in, at least the end, so that you know you you have replaced uh, the you know anode with just a regular bolt which is going to provide you no corrosion protection. So, uh, you know, don't fill up your hot water heat. you got to do that. So that's a little tip for today on uh, anodes. Uh, maybe some of you are doing this in preparation for winterization. So good luck with your uh, winterization product project. So that's all from the Casita Commander. Here's just a little addendum on that previous vid. Uh, I just cracked this package open. This uh, anode is less than a year old and stored in a relatively dry place. As you can see, it's rusting right on the package. So uh, we'll clean this up with our trusty wire wheel. And that way, it'll be, this corrosion process will be stopped. And we'll add some Vaseline to protect it so that we can store it properly without it uh, getting more pitted. Uh, the longer you let this go on, the more chance you can have that the anode will leak when you install it. So you want to stop this corrosion. 
if you like to stock a part with your trailer. You know, one other thing you'll notice with your anode once you get out of the package is it has this little notice on it here. This actually has a very important little notice about the manifold and uh, the orifice that's in the manifold. Uh, has a little note saying, uh, don't lose the orifice or you can get too much gas into your heater, which can make it go nuts and burn your trailer down. Uh, so that's an important little safety message. Uh, it's actually, this is actually a sticker. They want you to put it on the inside of the um, hot water heater. So obviously there's some type of a prior problem with this and they're trying to address it here. So it's a good little uh, note to read. Uh, one last thing about changing your anode here. Here's two little uh, anodes, new ones I cleaned up, but this is straight out of the package. As you can see, it's a real beauty. And uh, here is uh, another one straight out of the package that I cleaned up with my trusty wire wheel. So, uh, <laughs> you can ask yourself, well, which one would you like to install? So, this is something Suburban could definitely work on get a little better packaging so people who stock uh, replacements for their water heater won't find they're all rusted like that straight out of the package luckily the wire wheel does a great job at bringing it back to where it should be there you go guys you know I decided in the end it was better to leave the uh, anode out because I want to pull it out anyways when I uh, recommission the uh, hot water tank. Uh, so I put this little note on the, the dummy plug or the... Actually, I'm just using the cutoff little uh, insert. Uh, so I just put this on hand tight, but I do have some Teflon on it. And in this way, uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, redoing uh, Teflon on, a, on the... Um, anode when it comes out again and uh, also you know I don't have to keep a good anode in there for right now. Now here's my new and improved packaging. Uh, I have the uh, replacement anode in there with a little grease on it and uh, I have uh, it in plastic now so it uh, shouldn't corrode as much. And here's my uh, replacement anode ready to go. And I also have my Teflon tape already on there and some Vaseline on there as well. So we can slap this in with a moment's notice when we're ready to go trailer in again and use our tank.